What's going on guys, welcome back to another video, and so I'm going to be trying to make a sheep zoo enclosure, I almost combined the sheep and the zoo, that would have been really weird, um, but yeah, here it is, uh, I don't have a whole ton to say about this one, this is the last of the bland set, thankfully, unless I do, well I'm not doing wolf next, because wolf and sheep next to each other is a death sentence, um, that's all I have time to say, so with that being said, enjoy the tutorial, and I will catch you on the flip side. Alrighty, so the space here for this is the standard 18 by 16, and the materials we're needing to start off, I guess, on the outside are freaking phone, white wool, black stained glass panes, dark oak doors, white concrete, black concrete, pink concrete. And light gray terracotta. I think that's it. Also, let me double check. I did that off my memory. Yeah, okay, that is it. And starting for the front left hand corner of your 18 by 16 grid golf course, you made it. You want to start by counting. Start off from that front left by counting back by one and placing a white wool. Now, um, just to throw this out here, um, obviously, if you are building all of them like I am, uh, the grid space really doesn't matter. The grid space is taken into consideration when I am. Or with the entire thing. Basically, all you need to know is that... I've said this before, and I'll say it again. It's just a two-block gap from the one to the right of it. And then there will be times where that will change. And I will give all the information, and I might even make a separate video after all of this. Kind of showcasing it and basically talking about that stuff. Maybe. I'll see you on that. But if there's ever a change, which I know there will be, I'm probably going to do a couple different things. Uh, I'll be sure and I'll probably do like one final tutorial video basically doing all the paths and outer walls and stuff uh yeah anyway it's so on that white wool you want to count right by one and going or you want to place a white wool to the right of that and then right of that you want to place 14 black stained glass bands then two white wool go back with a dark oak door 13 white wool and then connect back to the front left, which is 17 across. And then, uh, 13 forward. Like so. You then want to copy that row six more times. Except you don't want to uh, bring the dark oak door up by six. You want to bring it up with five white wool. Now, I think we're going to have to destroy a couple panes. So if you really are going to... Actually, never mind. I lied. Um, it's just straight up copying. The uh, quote-unquote destroying panes is the next row up. Which we're probably not going to destroy them. We're just going to start with the thing. That was very descriptive. We're going to start by making it, or we're going to carve it into the, no. What am I trying to say? We're going to build it row by row, so we consider, so we don't build the panes and then carve into them. We just build kind of inside the panes as we're building the panes. It's hard to explain, and I really cannot explain things on a good day. So on a bad day, don't expect me to either. But, um... Not that it is a bad day. Speaking of which, hopefully everyone is having a good day or night. I am, for the most part, might have been the smoothest transition of my life. Uh, <laughs> which is always nice, I guess. I don't know. Hopefully you found uh, probably last week's tutorial very useless, because that was the point I'm just kidding. Um, <laughs> also, it was the Krispy Kreme, then ignore what I said. Um, yeah. Now, at the front here, you want to go left to right or right to left on top of the front. Only, does not matter. Place three white wool. Three black stained glass panes. Oh, wow, I... Frick, never mind. White concrete. Light gray terracotta. Two pink concrete. Light gray terracotta. White concrete. Three black stained glass panes, and then three white wool. The sheep's head's only a 6x6 six six as far as pixels are concerned, which really annoys me. I guess because the 8x8 eight eight would be the, like, around the face, the, uh, whatever it's called. But it still annoys me. Uh, next row up, you want to leave a one block gap moving in, and you want to place three white wool, two black stained glass panes, 
white concrete, light gray terracotta, two pink concrete, light gray terracotta, white concrete, two black stained glass panes, and three, whoopsies, three white wool. Good lord, I cannot build today. Then again, you want to leave a one block gap going left to right again, place four white wool, six light gray terracotta, and then four white wool. Well, that was an easy row. Uh, next row up, again, leave a one block gap and place three white wool, black concrete, white concrete, two light gray terracotta, white concrete, black concrete, three white wool. And then on top of the sheep head part, these six middle blocks, it's the eyes and the uh, light gray terracotta. You want to place a row of light gray terracotta, and then on top of the row of light gray terracotta, place a row of white concrete, like so. Extend that whole sheep head forward a row. Now, um, I do just want to throw this out here. I know this is kind of uh, delayed. I never actually did this with the chicken head. So... By all means, if you want to, go for it. Um, because you'll see the only thing that actually sticks out is the beak, and it sticks out by one. So if you want to really bring the whole thing forward another row, you totally can. Uh, just keep in mind if you do that, what this side will, 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 will happen with that side, sorry. Uh, just keep that in mind, because I'm not so sure how that would work. Uh, now... If this isn't your first rodeo, you should know what to do from here. Basically, from here, it's pretty simple. Uh, place a row of white wool on the left, back, and right, or an additional row. And, oh, we need black stained glass blocks. How did I forget that? I'm sorry, get out black glass. Um, and then bring the entire, kind of, like, top part back with black glass until it's one short of the end, and then place a white wool. So it's basically the top white wools, and then it'll be the line where the eyes are on the sheep head. Uh, it's kind of funny. The only reason I made the glass ceilings was because the chicken uh, zoo enclosure thing uses concrete powder. So I was like, okay, I can't put floating concrete powder, so I'll do glass. And I think that was a much smarter choice. Uh, yeah, I don't know how I forgot that, though. I'm sorry. That's a simple one to forget. It's because I was so focused on the sheep head materials. I was like, yup, that's it, guys. But it wasn't. And also, once you have it, uh, the little gap that you'll have here, you do just want to fill in at the far back. Because nobody likes gaps. <laughs> no attic, though. God, it's been a hot minute since I've made a suburban house. That really should be the next thing I do. I was going to do a house today, but I didn't feel like it. I'm not going to lie. I just think of all the changes. Okay. There you go. That is the outside done. That took us about four minutes. Uh, a little longer than that. But I can't do math, so we're going to go with it. Uh, clear your inventory and get out uh, for the inside. Smooth quartz blocks. Red concrete. Smooth quartz stairs. Smooth quartz slabs. Birch fence. Water bucket. Uh, just for the fun of it, white wool. And then either a uh, hoe of whatever choice, or a or just the farmland itself doesn't really matter. And I guess I'll go wheat seeds, although it really doesn't matter. Uh, yeah. Um. Come to the back left-hand corner and of your whole thing, and you want to break into the ground a three by three, except you want to leave out the front right hand corner of it you want to leave that full like that uh just make sure that actually never mind uh fill that in with water i was gonna say something but it's not gonna matter for a minute here um well it will but you, it, it, it just pay attention and just pretend like i make sense now uh come to the front left side and you want to go forward and you want to till one, two, three, uh, farmlands. I, farmlands? Sure, we'll go with that. Then go right one, back diagonally to the right one, four diagonally to the right one, right one, back diagonally to the right two, back diagonally to the left one, and back two. And then everything in the middle also wants to be farmland. 
it. So, uh, make sure that the uh, what, what is probably dirt for you at this point. It's for me. It's red concrete. You want to make sure that, that little one pixel is white wool. Um, that's one of the very, very few things. Also behind the water. That's one of the very few things that um people don't do that infuriates me a lot. Because it, it's such a game changer. Like, if you look at a build, you can very clearly see... Like, hold on. If I make this a red concrete real quick. Look at how obvious that is. <laughs> Red's a little bit of a weird one, though. Because it kind of is a similar color to the uh, farmland. In a way. Or, it's not similar, but it's like... From far away, it's like that brown kind of weird color. Uh, and then you just want to place wheat seeds on all of this. Uh, don't forget a block like I accidentally did originally. Okay, that was weird. And then, uh, you don't have it, but, uh, bone meal. I'm just gonna get rid of my netherite hoe. I don't need it anymore. Because netherite hoes are dumb. I always get the netherite one because it's cooler. I look snazzier with it. Also, another thing is you probably won't really notice it because, uh, the wheat. Because, like, if you're out here just vibing, yeah, you're probably not gonna be able to. I mean, you might be able to sit on the left, but not on the back. So it's not like it's a huge deal, it's just when you're building things with farmland and with grass paths or dirt paths, whatever they're called, you have to do that because if you don't, it infuri it's just infuriating and it, it ruins the effect because you want your build to be into the ground, not sitting on the ground. That's the diff That one pixel is that difference. I know I'm making a big deal out of a pixel and I'm drama, so I'm, dr I'm dramatic. So I'm not that dramatic, uh, but yeah, you get the joke. Uh, okay, come to the back right hand corner and you want to count. Whoa, okay, never mind. You want to count left by three and you want to place moving forward five red concrete. I like lost the direction that I was facing for a second there. I don't know how. And then in front of that place, a smooth quartz block. Then going back to front on top of that place, red concrete, birch fence, red concrete, birch fence, red concrete, smooth quartz. Quartz at the front. And then at that row, you want to place a red concrete to the right at the front, like that. Now at the left side, place a row of smooth quartz stairs off the left that overhangs the front by one. This front one, you want to do some fun stuff with. I don't know why I said that. But you want to bring it right with an upside down stair, then up with a block, stair, right with an upside down stair, up with the stair. Right with an upside down stair, up with a slab, bring that slab right by one, and then down with an upside down slab. And that'll give you this, which is cool, I guess. I don't know. Uh, with the excluding the upside down stairs and slab, uh, you want to bring all of that to the back wall. It's a lot of white, come to think of it. Like so. Nice. And then that singular red concrete at the front, you want to bring up one, right two, and then everything up from that, just make it red concrete. Come inside here, and at the fourth row up, so the first row of smooth quartz that is visible from the inside, you want to fill in the roof at that level in with smooth quartz blocks. It really doesn't affect the lighting. The glass is the big thing. And I do want to throw this out here, um, because it's a zoo, you do have to think about lighting a little bit. Lighting the paths and stuff, maybe not, and like lighting the, the actual enclosures because you want the animals to be able to sleep. But you, I would actually, I'm not like, I, I don't know what zoos look like after they close, uh, but I would just think about nighttime and how the atmosphere would be. Do you want lights as in like almost security type of lights? Just like little things like that I'd think about. Daylight sensors can do that for you. Just straight up uh, but yeah you can clear your inventory although you will need that bone meal again in a second here and you want to get out composters uh, I'm gonna say azalea not the leaves the actual azalea it should be called azalea bush I don't know why it just should uh, bone meal again pretty sure azalea will work for what we need it for two things uh, any color wool of your choice. I went with blue before, so I'm gonna go with uh go with purple. Purple's a nice color. And um uh, also the sheep spawning, that's an important thing. We can't forget about that, like I almost did original. I don't know how I did it before. 
Uh, you want to come inside the barn, uh, back right hand corner, place a composter and fill it up with your azalea as much as you'd like. You can make it empty, although then that looks like you're not feeding your animals, so I wouldn't advise doing that, but you can. Uh, and then basically everything else in here just wants to be a uh, purple carpet or whatever you choose. I did, I think that much is what I did. It's just basically four rows out from the back except the front left corner is missing. I don't know why I like corners missing. Now, come outside, and you can play around with this part if you'd like, um, but it's going to be the tree, uh, so quite simply, it's from this uh, wheat right here, It's the, which is this one right here, uh, you want to count forward three and right by one, and you want to just plant an, oh god, plant an azalea and bone meal it. This one's a little bit weirder, the one I had before was curving backwards, which I really liked, um, but I don't know why that liked my game so much. Yeah, and then what I do from there is just bone meal around on the ground. Just get some nice grass in here. Um, you know, make it look a little bit more colorful and fresh and all that stuff. And you could even, like, add more special flowers or whatever. Um, I might do that for one of them in the future. I think you can probably guess which one I'm thinking. Uh, make some custom little flowers. And do some stuff. And then you do want your sheep. Now, I'm always doing three, uh, and I think with the sheep especially, you could do, like, maybe, I don't know. I'm gonna do some cool colors for this one. I'm gonna do purple, lime, and cyan. I did red, white, and blue before, because, uh, yeah. Like, there you go. You just, you can pick the colors. Uh, I think it is cool to have some different colors in here, just to kind of, you know. Again, spruce it up a little bit, just give it some nice colors. Um, I've said colors a lot in the past, like, minute. But, uh, yeah, once you're done, ladies and gentlemen, that is your sheep zoo enclosure complete. There we have four now. Um, I'm doing pretty much every single mob. I think Ender Dragon, Wither are you going to be the only ones I'm not doing? Although I may do them. I may just not do them in the zoo, or they might be at, like, in a weird spot. They're not going to be... I'm not doing Ender Dragon, for sure. I might do Wither. Wither is 50-50 right now. But I'm going to end this video. Thank you guys for you guys did enjoy this video. Um... I also realized I have to do Enderman. I'm just gonna leave that sentence there. Have you finished it? And I will see you on the next one. Peace.